Hi there everyone, it's Jakko here. Today I want to show you guys one quick way how to do some smudges and how to add some uh, custom detail on our roughness channel and also do the, the base color map if you need. So I've got this bomb model here which I created recently and then um, uh, we just want to like uh, play, play around with the surface a little bit to add some details. So I created this smudges generator and, and you can get it from the Gumroad if you want to support me to help to to do these videos and uh, to, to do this stuff so uh, you can grab that but if you don't need to get you can also create your own and it's very easy you just uh, basically put some uh, generators and put some scratches and things like that and then you can export that substance to the painter here and then um, it will be available for you to use anytime you want so so let's take a look how we can um, uh, get a, take a advantage of those generators. So I've got a bunch of uh, uh, just some layers here. This steel gun uh, uh, material, this this metallic uh, sort of a thing in here, and then I've got the fuse on the other other uh, layer, was like a group uh, group thing in here. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna add like uh, let's say uh, I'm just gonna add like one more fill layer in here. So um, we can see we we'll get now this kind of result and then uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna disable the layers that I'm, I'm not gonna be able to use so I don't need metal or color I'm just gonna use draft in this, in this case so so now I'm just gonna be able to drag and drop this much ease. Uh so the, the way how you can do this if you want to import into here you can just uh, click this import resources and then add resources and you can uh, Go and get the, the SPSR and then add that into your project and you can import into only your current session so what this means is that you're going to be able to only use it in this session and then you can also use in the project um, in this certain uh, project and also you can put it in the shelf and if you do do this then it's going to be available for for your any future projects so um, that's really good so I'd like to add some of the substances that I create um, in, into this shelf so, so what this means is that then it's going to be available and and then yeah so it's basically I'm just gonna if you write smudge in here it's going to be coming here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop this to the roughness so now you can already immediately see this result is pretty wild and it looks so glossy and weird and very oily looks <laughs> looks pretty um, strong it's it's not uh, what we want so there's a bunch of ways we can um, change this how we can adjust this so um the way how i like to do is that I like to go here and go to the roughness uh, channel in here and you can preview this roughness also by hitting c in your keyboard so so now you can see that uh, actually you can go cycle but if you hit c you can see that uh, we can see the base color and the metallic and then the roughness so now we can see this preview of this roughness uh, the whole roughness of the whole thing basically in the so this very easy way to uh, to preview those so now what you can see that we have like these seams because I split this uh, object in the UVs and the UV seams there so we need to get rid of the seam so I'm just gonna go to here and do triplanar projection so that's gonna fix that now we don't have any seams visible so then uh, now we have this uh, as I showed you guys this uh, we have this uh, roughness channel in here and now we can do this this uh, um, blending mode so this is basically the same thing that's in Photoshop so if you guys know how to use Photoshop you can probably figure this out it's not difficult so so now it's basically just throwing it all over it's very strong effect so I'd like to maybe use uh, other mode like overlay for example well it's still a little uh, too strong so I'm gonna try this out so maybe I think uh, uh, linear dodge so this could be better so when you want to get rid of when you want to preview the whole material just hit M so now we can see we are it looks a little bit more sensible so, but it's still pretty strong so I'm just gonna maybe scale it down a little bit uh, so this is like a little bit uh, lesser intensity if you, if you will so now we can see that we have a little bit more uh, not so uh, strong, not so wacky result. So uh, this smudgy generator is a very quick way to, to add this sort of detail. So you can um, 
uh, use like you can put some small spots like sand kind of effects and then you have these long scratches you can also disable or enable those and of course you can also use the UV scale so if you want to scale this effect you can do that also so it looks pretty decent you can see how quick it is to just throw this in here and then start to play with this thing you can see that it looks uh, pretty natural and we have like swirl crunch effects so this is sort of a gives this kind of result and then we have this horizontal scratches which is more like this wear type of effect that that something is worn something is scratched i, I kind of like that actually in this uh, result so there's many ways you can use this it doesn't need to be only roughness so if you want to put it to the color channel it's very easy just enable the color and now it's, it's really if you enable this very very wild but again i'm just going to be able to go to base color in here and then change again this um, uh, blending mode in here so i could do like over overlay um let's see maybe um linear dodge this could be so again maybe scale it does not not have the effect so strongly something like this could who knows could work or um um you could also do darken so in this way uh, we can also have some of that detail to to show up in our color if we so desire um, i'm not sure if that's necessary at all in this case it looks kind of nice when it's just in the roughness so that when in uh, the model is viewed in different lighting environments then um, uh, it, it's uh, gonna show up so it's kind of a nice way to to give a little bit of surprise to the viewer i suppose that it's not so obvious in uh from distance but when you go closer when you when, uh, light is moved or or the object rotate or something like that it's going to show up those uh, little nice uh, microservice details but yes it's a, just a quick look on how to use smudgy generator and how to uh, put some uh, custom made um, detail on your roughness and color layers so uh, this was Jaco. i hope you find this video useful i hope to see you soon then uh, goodbye